So today we'll be talking about window schedules. Today I'd like to do a window schedule of this window over here, which looks onto my cottage. And the door, the window type is window G, and the, the window number is window number 7. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, just like the door schedules, is we're going to create a legend of this window. I can see over here that it's window number 2 and it's 870 by 1350. I want it to be 1 to 50. Okay, and now I'm going to annotate, drop in my legend component. I'm going to look at my windows. Window 2, 870 by 1350. I'll put it down over there. Here I can see that it's not showing me the elevation, so I want the front elevation. This is what the front elevation looks like. All right, so I'm going to click DL like I did before, which gives me my line. I'm going to draw a line down here because the window is actually sitting above the floor finish level. Um, I want to indicate my the underside of my window. Um, here, I'd like this to be 1.5 meters. And then I just want to indicate a few more dimensions like the height. And this window is actually doesn't really look like this in reality. It's got two separate panes. So what I want to do is I want to draw in those planes. So I'm going to DL, go to the center over here, make that the center point, make that a dash line. Okay. Obviously, you would do this much more accurately. To draw in my two panes. Okay, and I'm going to draw in the opening. It's very important with windows that we draw in the opening. Okay, those are generally dashed lines to show how the window opens. All right, now I've got my window. I want to just uh, mention what sizes they are. To add less complication, I'm just going to put an equal. I'm going to click equal over here. Um, and then the, the person creating the window will know that this is the overall dimension. And I want these two windows to be equal to one another. And he knows the height and he knows how high above the finished floor level it needs to be. Don't forget to indicate that this is the finished floor level line. Okay, and I also like to indicate that this is my brick on edge sill so that everybody knows that this is not supposed to be painted, it is just supposed to be left brick on edge sill. Okay, and that's my window, my window legend. And I would like to just name this window legend, I think it was window G. Okay, window G, yes. Now I want to create a new schedule for this window. It's a window schedule. Okay. And what would I like to include in my window schedule? The same as what I'd like to include in my door schedule, which is comments, my type mark, my mark itself. I don't need I don't need swing, but I do need location. So location I've already included here. And then I just want to move these around like, um, like I did before. Move my mark up, move my type mark to the very top, with my comments to the very bottom. And that's basically what I want to include. And then in terms of my filter system, I would like to filter according to the type. This in this case, it's going to be window G. The sorting is going to be according to the mark itself. And then format oh, sorting, I also just want to include my totals like I did before count formatting is fine and appearance is fine okay good to go okay i would highly recommend that you make sure that you actually watch the previous um 
the previous window shed, uh, door schedule uh, tutorial um, so that you can be more informed uh, about why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right, so over here I would hide my type mark um, and just have mark, and this will be called window number. Location is fine and comments is fine. And now I'm sitting with a very similar looking, um, sim similar looking to what my door schedule looked like. I just want to open this up a bit. And over here I'm going to do the same as I did my door schedule, where I'm going to add uh, rows below. I just want to check how many rows below I would like to add. My other window schedules. Um, so over here I've added one, two, three, four, five, six frame, frame finish, lintel, glazing. Okay, right below, four, five, six. This over here can be merged. Here I've got my, my let me just see what was it called again. Uh, frame, frame, finish, lintel, glazing, frame, frame, finish, lintel. Lazing. Okay, now this part is quite important. Um, just close those two. The glazing area and the glazing opening area, right? So glazing is actually what what thickness of glass and what is the type of glass you indicate. The glazing area is the total amount of glass that you have, so the whole window including the frame. And the glazed opening area is how much uh, air is moving in through that window. Okay, and so this is the glaze. Based area and the opening, what do I call it? Glazed opening area. All right, and then over here you'll fill all that information in like you normally would. Over here you'd fill in your location. This is the cottage. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me do that. Um, if I go here just to filter, add a new location. Maybe that location is faulty. Okay, I want an instance text location two. Okay, just push it up. Okay, well, let me do it now. Yes. All right, great. And then this is window type G. Fantastic. Now I have my, my window schedule and I don't have any comments to add. And I can see that it's window number seven and there is only one of them. Great. So now I go to my window schedules. I want to put it in over here, just underneath window type F, right click add view, I go to my schedule, window schedule G, window type G, add in my window type G, if I want to make it the same as the others I can use these little arrows here just to stretch it, that's really useful actually, and then I want to add my window onto that which is my legend, so window G, Legend. Okay, there it is. I want to hide that title block. Okay, it seems to be a little bit crampy. So if I double click on here, then I can just pull these open a little bit more. Okay, and that will just let me see. Okay, it's fitting better now. Okay, and that's basically how you get the window schedule on. And then you do the same as you did with the door schedule. Um, once you've got your window schedule uh, that you're, your your window schedule that you're happy with, you just uh, right click and duplicate, and then you can alter it. So here, right click, duplicate view. Let's say we've got a G two, okay, and then you edit over here, and you just change the filter fields to whatever you need it to be. If you wanted to schedule another window type, you just change your filter fields, and the whole thing will change for you, just like it did with window with the door schedule. 
Okay, and that's basically how you do it. And the beautiful thing about the, the legend and the schedules is that once you set up your door legend as well, or your window legend, you can also duplicate your window legend. So if I didn't have a, a window H, if I didn't have window H, then I could basically just right click and duplicate, duplicate window G. Okay, you'd have to duplicate with, de with detail. Don't forget to do that. Duplicate with detailing. Okay, now it's showing me window G again, but now I can just click here and I can select any other type of window. It gives me that type of window. All right, and I delete those things that I, that I have over there. And also if your window is not coming up the way that you want it to be, you can just draw it like you would in AutoCAD. You just use your lines and you draw your window in, and then you can use that as your, um, as your, your, um, your legend. Okay, um, I hope that's, um, I've covered everything. If you have any questions or comments, then you're welcome to leave them in the comment section below.